Now let's go back to more complex effects with our third text animation and first go to the background section and pull a green background onto your timeline and then head over to the text tab and create a new text block. Modify the text, choose a different font, just the color and resize it. Pick a contrasty color, I'm going with pink and you will see why later. Once you're done, export this video. The second step is to import this newly created video back into video editor. Drag it onto the timeline on the top track on the bottom track we need to put the background video in my case it's a video of yellow paint dripping into water forming beautiful patterns I will adjust the scale and position of this video to make sure it's centered next I will select the video with green background and pink text and in the more tools find chroma key using an eyedropper I will click on the pink text I will make it transparent and then I will export this video once again and re-import it into the editor for the final step I will place the video of myself from the previous example on the bottom video track and then I'll put the video with a transparent text on the top track. Using the chroma key and an eyedropper I will remove the green background but we are not done just yet. I will slightly adjust the speed to make the animation quicker. And lastly I will go to the animation section and find fade in and fade out. These are pre-made animations that I can simply drag onto the timeline and after some minor adjustments to the keyframe positions I I ended up with a text animation that looks like this. What do you think?